<clears throat> World of YouTube. Terrible sight. Here. It's actually staying late out tonight. Spring is sprung. The weather sucks. <laughs> I've been a little busy. But uh, I'm about to head off on a little trip tomorrow. And um, <clears throat> we'll visit some cousins upstate New York. I'm also going to be doing some videos out there. It sucks though, I only can stay three days, so what I got to get in, I got to. Hopefully, I can get in. But. Be taking some pictures out there of past things of what I in video of what I enjoyed out there the most. Of course, when I went and lived in that <clears throat> out in that area around the Corning, New York area, I can tell you, man, I felt as I I belonged in that state in that area, and it. it <clears throat> and it just felt good at the time because I was going through some rough patches in life. So yeah, it was like that town really helped me cope with what I was going through at the time of my parents splitting up, you know. <clears throat> so you know, I did meet some friends out there, of course. Hung around, did a lot of things. The time I was out there almost two years. But um <laughs> go figure I recently talked to my cousin who lives out there and <clears throat> he had showed me a picture he sent me of some paranormal stuff that happened to him. And he said, uh of course my he's my second cousin, my first cousin, his mother at the time poor soul passed away I believe in 21 or 2020 maybe but um her house is very haunted that she lived in I believe he said his is too and of course heh, out in where my other cousin lives uh Angie his sister I have literally found her skinwalker encounters out in the county she lives in <clears throat> but of course the history of that town is so rich of Native Americans it's about a wonder why and I've been watching some um, Amazon paranormal true stories of people and <laughs> got some good ones of course the last ones I just watched didn't have a town to it but this one did. And of course, that's a Native American, uh, Tonawanda, New York, a Native American name, of course. And there was a story up in Rochester, New York, um, near the Great Lakes. And I believe this one is too, near the Great Lakes and stuff. And near a river. So, and I was telling my cousin how rich that, where he lives near Corning and everything, you know, painted post. And I have that up in, on a history thing I did on a video about Mr. George Washington, our first president, ran Native Americans out of that painted post. And the post was painted, I guess, due to an Indian chief who was literally buried there. And I want to try and get to that place. But I think, go figure, I've been doing some research. <clears throat> and I'll tell you right now, <laughs> I believe they built over his burial site. 
which was a big mistake doing that kind of stuff out there. I believe there's buildings on, on the site. <clears throat> I'm going to look into it, but I don't think I'm going to get to it. Because what I've seen look like buildings on top of the original site. And of course, I have an old book. I believe I uh, have a video on it. My father gave me of Corning, New York. I got to find that damn book. It's got the original statue that was placed there back in the 30s, but due to the flood that hit, um, the statue was destroyed, and they made another one. But <laughs> by the looks of it, they moved it to another spot, but not where the original burial was. They had to, like I said, <laughs> moving stuff around out there, and I think that's why there's a lot of maybe evil that goes about in that state up in that area and this was one of it I believe this kid was um ah shoot what was it? I forgot what this story I know a girl was someone was in Rochester New York but and that one was about supposedly they're in the house and here we are again I got to go all over this now. And when they were talking about Triple H, Henry Holmes being the original Jack the Ripper, these kids that lived in Rochester, New York, said that he came from um, the original Jack the Ripper. They gave a name, but I couldn't understand what they were saying because it's a funky name. I wrote it down the best I could. I'm going to look it up. I'm sure I'll get the story out of there, but... These two claim they looked up in history that the original Jack the Ripper lived there and he was um, bringing a uh, body of women in, his, in their basement and killing them, I guess, when he came back over here to the States. <clears throat> but there you go again. Here we have another person claiming that Jack the Ripper wasn't Henry Holmes, but they claim he was... So it's a very confusing story now. <laughs> I'm sure that that guy that they were talking about, maybe, you know, they only did it because of the TV show and wanting them to, you know, tell their story. But I got to look deeper into that. And then this guy here, I just got done watching this. What the hell did he say happened to him? Um, I was just watching another one before this, and... I mean, after this, <laughs> and I forgot, but this guy was getting beaten by a spirit, evil entity in his bed, but that one didn't have a town in it, <laughs> go figure, and then his, I believe his uncle came or something, or a friend, and his father booted the kid out of his bedroom, and that friend stayed in his room, and he got attacked, uh, I'm trying to think what the hell this one was about, I think that, oh, I think, oh, this is the one with the two kids, that got stuck in his house. So it wasn't really much to do with evil. But due to the fact that these two kids were stuck on a picture in the attic, that's what it was. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to find out what this... <clears throat> but being near the um, Great Lakes, Erie Lake, I believe it is, this town is, I'm sure there's a lot of Native American stuff there too. Yeah, that's what it was. The two kids were kind of haunting him, trying to let him know they were there and type thing. And he just figured out when he when he um, got older that he went back to the house and found out or bought the house. And he found out and he keeps the picture with him now. And he keeps him as family, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Because <clears throat> once a ghost sometimes attach you, I can just imagine what's attached to me all these years <clears throat> but um there's been a lot of good episodes on these so far if anybody wants to my haunted paranormal i believe it's called people's hauntings but um good good stuff on there true stories too and i believe each and every one of them but uh then my cousin was talking about he just went to a graveyard <laughs> 
near his house. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get to that because, like I said, I got other things I got to do. I mean, I did say I was going to stop in and visit and everything, but if I can, I will, you know. But <clears throat> it's, you know, going to be a little fun trip for me. I'm actually going back to a place where, like I said, I just felt like at home and at ease at that town where I'm going. And it was just, you know, a great experience going through what I was going through as a... So I'm about to wonder if I had my own personal guardian angel or whatever you want to call it, you know, helping me cope through this stuff. But I can say I've had that since I was a kid in that, uh, my house at uh, 52 East Main Street near Mass. <clears throat> that place I was at ease until you know everything went down south. But, yep. But with my cousin and his experience, he was having some issues with his neighbors and uh, they were going back and forth on it on social media, and I caught a glimpse of some of it. And I think it had something to do with his son and the neighbor, you know. I don't know the whole thing, but and I ain't going to say too much, but just had something to do with that, and it really pissed him off. And he just got off the phone with someone, and his, I don't know, his mother <laughs> at the time, Trying to calm him down, my cousin Teresa, God rest her soul, um, took a picture of him. And at that moment, to try and cool him down, there was a damn hand that emerged in a ghostly figure, folks, and touched his lips and he said he felt it. Because what he was saying about the neighbor, <laughs> that person just eased, the spirit eased him, eased him down. So he could get back to normal and, you know, just not do what he wanted to do. And I mean, that's all I'm going to say. And I, I looked at the picture, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> so he's got a guardian angel out there, which is pretty freaking awesome. And um, like I say, I'm just <clears throat> haven't seen them guys. Oh, Jesus, probably the late 90s. 95, I believe I seen him when I went out to New York to see my uh, aunt for the last time who died of cancer back then. It really sucked, but, uh, you know. But anyways, that's why I've been so busy. I've been working long hours to rake up some money to head out there because, like I said, there's some personal stuff that I want to do out there and take video and pictures of and also get to see them that I haven't seen them for years, you know. And of course, finally, you know, Facebook is Facebook. Nothing is like going to see your family. And it's sad that my cousins that I used to hang around with back in the day before my parents split up, of course, we always had a blast. We always hung out. But now times have changed, you know. <laughs> this one's saying that, he said this. So I mean, I stay out of all their business, but I got, I'm all on good terms with each and every one of them and I gotta see them. Cause that's right folks, you never know what's gonna happen here today, gone tomorrow. It sucks to say, but, and where I was always close and I've always, seen my cousins and stuff when I was a kid you know I just have to make a point to go check them out see how they've been because uh words are just words on social media nothing nothing can substitute the real deal and meeting so interesting videos coming up I'm gonna take a little break I mean, so far I need something, man, because I've been, uh, you know, going through some rough patches in my life in the past three years. It hasn't been too good, but. <laughs> uh.
things are coming along though. Notice my YouTube channel raking up some views, raking up some, um, raking up some um, new subscribers. Thank you all. I hope I see some more come along. But until then, be safe, take care, and always believe. That's right, folks. Because when I get out to New York here, we're gonna see what I can conjure up out there. <laughs> Alright folks, till the next video, out.